Yo, today I'm gonna show you how to make music in the style of LS Dream, Exotics, and Grizz. People in the front, people, people in the back, no. Okay, so this genre of music is defined by a few main elements. First, it's gonna be in the BPM range of about 80 to 90 BPM. Funky drums, trippy and spacey effects, funky vocals and chants, low-end trippy basses for your bass lines. The drums sound like this. For the kick, you'll want something low and thumpy like this. For the snare, we want something with a fundamental hitting around two to 300 hertz. I like to start by placing the snare on every 0.2 and 0.4, so we could just duplicate that across. Once you have that, just experiment and place kicks in different areas. Keep it simple and follow your ear. This is the pattern I ended up with. With the snare. Add ghost kicks. Ghost kicks are great for adding funk and groove. I like to place them right before kicks um, to kind of add an extra groove. A ghost kick is basically a filtered kick with a fade so that it doesn't have a transient. Next, we have the hi-hats. All of our hi-hats together sound like this. First, you can simply take a quarter note hi-hat and layer it with loops or other hi-hats. And a pro tip that I like to use is finding a random break or drum sample and adding it on top of the percussion to add some extra groove. I ended up finding this one. And I just EQ'd it and added some reverb to put it in its own space. Putting open hi-hats or rides at the end of every two to four bars, like this. I noticed this a lot in that this kind of uh, funky bass style of music. So next, we're gonna want to find a funky fill. Again, just find something in your sample library that you like. In this case, I found this. some funky vocals and chants. I noticed this a lot in this style of music, using chants and vocals to really keep the energy moving. One thing I like to do is have my chants kind of talking to each other. At the end of every four bars, we have these big fills going on. So I use two different chants to kind of help with the fill. So we have this. A funky pre-drop vocal. People in the front, people, people in the back, no. Nope. Just something I got off of Splice. Okay, the next thing we're gonna go over are the basses. So the biggest thing in this genre that I've noticed is the arrangement. There's a lot of call and response going on. You're gonna see this repeating pattern, which I've labeled up here. A downbeat followed by a bass line or a motif. A motif is basically a repeating section of music. And then a fill at the end of two bars, back into a downbeat, repeating another bass line. And you're gonna see this pattern repeat over and over again. If you listen to just the bass lines by themselves, I notice the downbeats are often layered with brass and synths. So in this case, I have this downbeat sound layered with this brass sound and this brass sound. So all together, and that brass is gonna help drive home that kind of funky uh, vibe that we're going for. Our second downbeat is over here. Again, it's kind of a response to the first downbeat as well. Like if we listen to this, to this, 
Like those could loop together. That's a good way to think about it. It should be every section should be able to loop together and still sound good because they should all be communicating with each other. It's also layered up with the horns. Following that rhythm, should probably fade these. These downbeats are leading into our bass lines or our motifs, the repetitive part. This is like the main idea of our drop. This is the part that everyone's gonna vibe out to. And again, just a basic sine wave type of bass. And we go into our fill sound, which is right here, and that sounds like this. And that's turning us right back around into our second down. <laughs> So we have this two bar pattern going and then every four bars we're having a major switch in our bass lines. If we just keep repeating these bass lines, things are going to get repetitive. So you want to make sure you switch things up. The final thing to tie everything together are effects sounds and scratches. So I have this sample going right before our fill at the end of every four bars. And then let's listen to the effects with the vocals as well. I hope that's helpful. As usual, I hope you guys learned something.